evening of uh, tonight is called uh, Taste It, What Design Can Do. It's a collaboration in which the conference of What Design Can Do, which is every year, um, travels to the Stedelijk Museum, where after the conference at Stadshouder here in Amsterdam, the visitors actually have a chance to see, and in this case to taste and feel, uh, what it is, what design can do for the senses. And then, something after this, you can take that at the end. Okay. One piece of each, and then we don't have a, as much. I don't know how many people come. Uh, I think, uh, well, about 200 or more. Can you open the pot room or something for the photo? Like a little and morgen is iedereen ziek. <laughs> Thank you very much. So it's Very nice. It's very nice, but there is something in the taste. I we haven't tasted before. No, I don't know what it is. But, no. um, it's very special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tastes are um, it's spicy and it's a little bit sour. And it's something like a um, kicker drill. Mm. Like <laughs> Frog drill. Frog drill. <laughs> Up there with René Redzepi, Massimo Bottura. I mean, these are these are the people that really I don't know are the avant-garde of this moment. Are like these are the guys that make it happen at this moment. I don't know what I'm eating exactly, but it's nice. It's, uh, it's like a, it has a little Asian touch, like lemongrassy. And uh, I was a little nervous when uh, starting to eat this, but it's not so crazy. Not not so crazy like these uh, insect um, desserts over there. People have eaten insects from centuries in everywhere in the world but this is the only single example that i know that one insect is used in the kitchen not as a protein source but as a spice if you guys taste it you're gonna felt a strong flavor of ginger and lemongrass so i, I, I want to take a big and <laughs> <laughs> um, we just had the pineapple with the with the Amazonian ants on top of it. It's it's incredible. My first ant experience. I've never tasted pineapple that tastes so good as what he brought from Brazil. So that's maybe cheating a little bit. But the ants, they taste like lemongrass, ginger. I don't know. They're so aromatic, and there's so much going on in your mouth, and you're just having. A little piece of pineapple with two ants on top. Yeah. It's very different. The taste was amazing. The taste was yeah. amazing. It sticked a little bit between my teeth, but that was fine. Really good. It's crispy, so it's good. Crispy, yeah. yeah. Once again, big round of applause for Alex Otama. Test, which we did in the studio before bringing it here, 
and how is this caused? So that is a vigorously vibrating engine which transmits subsonic sounds into the um, liquid itself. So a lot of that sound is at, um, you know, below 20 hertz, which is the, below the threshold of human hearing. Um, then the varying frequencies you can see play through it cause relatively different um, patterns, so which you know, I think mesmerizing and hypnotic. I'm sure the more drinks I had, um, the more enchanting it would be. this notion as well because we didn't want to just give people all of that different alcohol to experience immediately because it's a lot um, and we find that, that because humans are very very primal around foods if you just give them the food straight away they can turn into absolute beasts what you have to do is make them work for it and so we have we set up these exchange mechanisms where people did a small amount of work as in making a geometric form and that work earned them their next drink With it. People got really into it, they got competitive as well with their forms. And it's also enormously satisfying creatively to create a real physical object. It then made the reward of getting the drink all the more sweet because they'd actually done something for it. Um, in terms of the artwork and what the artwork is, it's not so much uh, you know, the punch bowl itself, but people's relationship with it and mm. how that becomes a prop for the story of their amazing adventure of their life. The object itself um, you know, is important because it's a facilitator of that, but for me that's a, it, you know, it's merely a prop um, and tool to get them to that state. This is just, this is just a sort of centrifugal force compelling people to move around the room talk to one another, perhaps have an interaction with someone who they wouldn't otherwise speak to, perhaps swap cards, leave with a memory, or go out on an adventure that they want, weren't expected to have later on this evening. And that, for me, is the most important thing. able to have a drink. That's a magical moment with any show um, because you just got to see what's happening, what's working, what's not working, making sure all the systems are in place. This is effectively a complex catering job as well. And when they're all in place, then you can relax. It's that time now. I'm very happy.